The city's been working on plans across the whole of the CBD to return the streets to people. Mervax 200 George is the first of those projects. We're really conscious that we had to land an iconic and landmark design for the site. We went to a design competition, so we ended up with six different, very quite different designs. FJMT Architects was the successful architect uh, at the conclusion of that competition. We wanted to make a building that was completely different to all the grey, aluminium and black glass buildings that dominate our cities. The design appealed to us, it was different and it really fitted that premium look of the building. One of the most ambitious aspects of the design is the triple glazed facade system. There is um, science, scientific evidence that people want to be close to timber. Um, they feel happier in a space which, is a, which has that warmth to it. So there was a great challenge in being able to incorporate natural timber into the design of the building. The outer sheet of glass is completely clear. Sitting behind that are adjustable wood louvers. And then behind that, there's a double glazed unit which insulates the interior. It's the first time it's been done at such scale, over 37 floors. The closed cavity facade makes the building incredibly energy efficient, um, showcases innovation and sustainability in one go. It's part of a, a, a reimagining of buildings. Buildings these days need to be smart. The building management system is highly intelligent. It knows at any point in the day where the sun is or where the clouds are and knows to adjust the blinds accordingly. Even when the blinds are horizontal or tilted, there's this glowing effect that you get, which uh, just, just feels great. The things that they've decided to promote are things like really good public art, so that the city is more like an outdoor gallery. We uncovered around about 23,000 artefacts. We've actually inlaid them into glass display cases. The actual stone of this site has been quarried, and that stone has been used to make the core of the building. Quite literally, the building rises out of the stone. It's been a pleasure to work with Judy Watson and help realise an artwork that I think is so beautiful. As you can see, it wraps around from the east side, beginning with uh, King Bungary and Queen Gooseberry standing on the outside. And you'll see the bone points, netted bags. There are stone uh, engravings. There's um, the bara, which is the crescent-shaped uh, shell hooks. And then adding to that, there's also a lighting effect which washes over the artwork in the evening. The architecture and the artwork sit in this building as well as I could ever hope for. So we've created an environment, both physical and through the use of technology, a space that people can come and go from and contribute based on their individual needs, but also the needs of the team. So it's about making sure we get the best contribution from everybody at Mervac. High-end, end-of-trip facilities of showers, lockers, bikes, um, towel service provided by our own building management means that the wellbeing of their staff is well looked for, not only on their floor, but within other elements of the building. 200 George's retail vision was to create a, a dynamic, but a, a specific and vibrant mix of retailers. We wanted to complement the building and create an atmosphere at the ground floor level. We did want a, a well-designed ground plane, one that was highly activated. We worked with our retail team to source a variety of award-winning operators, providing the building with intimate and alfresco dining options as well as pop-up and one-off events. It really brings together the skills of the integrated business model that we have across design, development, uh, construction, property management, ownership, and bringing that all together to create the workplace of the future. On behalf of Mervac and AMP and our major tenant EY, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here this evening to celebrate the official opening of 200 George Street to be known as the EY Centre.
Our architect, FJMT, fully embraced our vision to create a symbolic landmark that has redefined Sydney's skyline. The fact that uh, the building itself changes to meet the environment and the needs of the people within it, we followed that into our workspace to be agile, offer spaces for people to collaborate and to work in ways that they want to work. It's been a fantastic partnership with Mervac, and for us, you know, it's really important to have great partners. Not only is providing us a great physical building, as you can see, it's a beautiful building, as Sue likes to say, but also financially um, is giving our investors sustainable returns. To have buildings such as this, well, it makes a great city uh, even better. What we see today is pieces of the puzzle beginning to emerge. They're great on, on ideas, they've been absolutely forthright and have been happy challenging us all the way through this process. And I think that's what sets this project apart from just about any other that I've worked on in the last 20 years. What you can achieve with the same means is remarkable when you have that shared drive and that shared vision. Thank you to the team for everything that you have brought to under George Street your passion, your dedication, your conviction, and your willingness to explore uncharted territory. I hope that for many, many years, people will look at this as really setting a new standard in Australia for how workplaces should be created.